Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Uh, okay, welcome to this video. This one will be informative yet entertaining. Uh, we're just showing mainly our team how we want our screens to be stretched and remeshed, but we figured it might be interesting for you guys out there too. We're always open for a ton of tips, so if you have any uh, ideas or things that we could do better, we'd love to hear them. And just leave them sweet, sweet comments below. Enjoy the video. All right, step zero. It's actually a preparation step. Get all the paint off the edges. So we've got a bunch of these dirty, empty screens and we need to put new mesh on them and make it look like this. So we're gonna talk about how to, oops. Ah! We're gonna talk about how to do that process because there's a few things that need to happen. We need to clean all the edges because there's paint that is flaking off into the prints. That edges are Yeah, made. like we added that before to tell what kind of mesh it is, but now we changed it and that's flaking off and it's not working. So, didn't work. And then we need to go through on the front side where the mesh is actually glued to the frame and clean that up and get it ready to glue on. So, cleaning off the edges of the frame. We got this massive stack to do. We can handle 25 at a time. So, I'm just gonna grab and start giving them a tailor. We've got these huge bar clamps that hold it all together. It makes it a lot more efficient than- Name brand, by the way. Yeah, name brand. Uh, this ain't Red. no Harbor I know, Freight. I love Harbor Freight. <laughs> I got them for a gift. Or else Harbor Freight, I would've been there. So the more even we get all of these edges, the easier it's gonna be to clean because you won't be hitting all these bumps as you scrub along. Okay, we're gonna let the chemicals do the work. This is lacquer thinner. Just poured it in the spray bottle, makes it really easy to keep pretty neat and not get everywhere. Tension. Yeah, I'll use, use proper safety equipment. Yeah, use PPE. When you're working with chemicals. And then we're just gonna get to scrubbing. And the longer you wait, you can let the chemicals just keep going. Yeah, and like you can see it starting to go right there. You can you can see it works really good on this on this paint, like right here. See how that just comes right off? I'll do this part right here. If it takes an hour to do 25, that's something like two and a half minutes per screen. It's pretty reasonable. If it starts to take hour and a half, two hours, then we're probably spending too long. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but we just want to get as much of the loose paint off as we can. Should probably take about an hour to do this entire block. Okay, so once this block of screens is clean, gonna walk across the room and put them over here. And then we're gonna move on to our next step. Sometimes they get glued together like this. Shit. The floor do the work. Almost there. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Step number one, remove the mesh from the frame. First, I did a test yesterday with all of the different kinds of super glue that's already on there. It's not as bad as I thought. But. To see how good, how much we actually have to clean it. So this one, as you can see, there's a, I left a lot of crap on there and I just glued it up just to see how good it would work. So I'm gonna tear it off right now and see if the super glue, or see how much we actually have to clean it. So I'm just gonna grab this corner and pull it off. Step 1.5, make sure this is nice and smooth. Depending on what kind of glue is on there, clean it more or less. This kind of glue, I believe it's just super glue kind of powdery and white. Taylor's favorite word. But if there is stuff that we want to take off, you can grab this trusty scraper. Makes the worst noise in the world. And you just pull it along. And you can see that all that crap. Oh! You should get an ASMR of that. It's dude. honestly like, I did like one full screen of it yesterday and I was just like, yeah, full chills. Get an ASMR of that. Here we go. It's probably illegal to put that on YouTube. I'll no, just do it. I feel like when you can feel the texture under your hand. Fair. <laughs> 
Oh. This one's about as good as you could possibly get it. Scraped all the glue off, but you don't have to scrape the glue off. Just if it's like really bumpy, just gotta make it even. Hit it a little bit, evenly yeah. flat. Make it make make it pretty even. Yep. But it really doesn't have to be that clean. Step two: stretch the screen. Normally, uh, the mesh that we're using is uh, garbage mesh for us. It doesn't hold very good tension. And so that's why we're gonna be able to scrap a lot of it. Usually we would be a lot more careful about how much uh, we're getting rid of. All right, the surface is prepped. Testing tools. All of the screens <laughs> are gonna be stored on this rack right here. Autos go down here and perfect. And the manuals go up here. Yeah. Anyway, once we're ready to start putting the mesh on, you're gonna grab it from this rack, put it in the table. We can fit three autos like this. Or you can do four manuals like this. Yep, you can do four manuals as well. Then you walk around, grab your mesh out of this. Okay, just pull it so it passes that bar. All right, that's good. I like to put this one on first because it's the hardest one to reach. And usually these screens aren't here. They yeah, those are screens aren't, won't be there. So it'll be easier to reach from both sides. Anyway, you grab the one that's kind of like got a corner on it and you put that facing down and then you put it into this groove here with the foam set it inside and then you're just gonna push down like that until it locks in place a workhorse product so it's pretty awesome it's pretty pneumatic. bad stickers just saying these came off the first yeah, day the stickers <laughs> and they look like they were printed star, on a honestly. like a not a nice sticker <laughs> anyway so we've got these controls right here and that's where we're gonna turn it on later. But it's got air that goes to each of those rams. pneumatic rams. And yeah, when the air turns on, this is gonna pull back like that. And so that's how the screen's gonna stretch because we're gonna lock, attach all the, lock all the screen into these and then it's gonna pull from each side and make it nice and tight. So yeah, let's get that one on that you're... Perfect, so now that the mesh is all locked in, he's nice and loose, we're gonna come over here. I like to make sure all my both knobs are turned all the way down so that when we turn it on, it doesn't go crazy. Okay, so now it's on and we're gonna start. So will start moving. Twisting the knobs. And you can see it's starting to pull and you'll see more as I go up. And if it's not locked in enough, it'll pop out. It'll pull out and the bar will, will pop out. We shoot for a rest. There you go! This thing is $600. Don't mess it's how it. we measure how tight the mesh is. You can see it has numbers on it. Uh, it just <laughs> <laughs> like, duh, you can see. What do you need to see? Anyway, so amazing would be if we can get it up to like 20, but if we can have it to 17, totally passable and better than what we're using right now. Right now we're sitting at 21. Um, it is important to know that if this if the screen isn't in there evenly, the pressure will actually change as you go towards certain edges. Like see now it's 19, here's 22. So we're good where we're at right now. Yeah, and if you know if you know what tension should be perfect, I mean we usually shoot for like 17 to 20, but should it be higher, or lower? If you guys know, comment. Give us some sweet, sweet comments. <laughs> Step three, glue and cut. So I'm gonna test a new super glue bottle. This is what we've been using. I know the bendy straw is very tempting. Looks so fun, but you'll die. It's pretty cool, definitely. huh? All right, so we've got these re or uh, single use tips, I guess. Maybe we could reuse them. So I'm just gonna yeah, this toss is that on there, make sure it's tight. So it's like this. And spread it around and then use our activator to get it to harden really quickly. Yeah, CA glue is really common in all sorts of different processes. Yeah. Make sure you don't make sure you're careful with it, because if you get it on your screen, it's really hard to get off. I'm just gonna put a little drop. Just drop it along the edge. Just a tiny bit. Because it's easy to put too much on. 
Then I'm gonna go along with. Then I'm gonna go along with paint stick. This piece, of this paint stick. Squeeze it out as much as I can. Okay, it looks like we could probably use a little bit more. So, this is CA Activator. It comes in a can. Spray it on the glue to make it hard. Yeah, make sure to wear a mask. Strong, huh? Wear your PPE, please. Masks, <laughs> eye protection, gloves, suit. Okay. Cool, done. All right, now we gotta let know, that dude. dry. I'm now releasing the pressure. Perfect. Grab the razor blade and I'm gonna cut it out. Step four, measure, <laughs> God. <laughs> Step number four, measure for tension and make sure it's up to par and then take it down for reclamation. All right, so let's take a look at the screen. So it seems like we got a pretty good bond. A couple rough spots, but I forgot to do this before, but we're gonna mark it right now as a 110 mesh. And how did we do? Pretty good. 20 right in the center, and I like to test both ways. 20 right there as well. I also like to move it around the whole screen just to see where we're at. About 19 right there. That'll pass. 17 right there. The corners are the least important because you'd never print right in the corner. That one's 21. All right, so this is the real test. And then, when you're done with the screens, it's always important. It's always important to try your 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 man strength, you know, your woman strength, whatever. Come on. Oh. <laughs> ah! Make sure you still got it in you. That was terrifying. Felt okay. my life flash before my eyes. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that was actually way fun. A lot more fun than I anticipated. We just want them done properly and good and so that we can continue making our prints better. Just a reminder, every Friday, we drop a new video. That's 4 p.m. PST. Just kidding, I don't know, actually. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Bye.